Police are continuing efforts tonight to locate the man that opened fire at an area business this afternoon, injuring two of his colleagues, one of them critically. Now, for the first time, we're hearing from those that were inside Cardinal Kitchens when the shots were fired. WLKY's Lauren Adams joins us live from LMPD headquarters with more on this. Lauren? Rick, those I talked to tell me they heard several gunshots screaming and then people took off running. As you can imagine, pretty chaotic, but police were able to secure the scene in a matter of minutes. But during that time, the shooter slipped away and tonight, Rick, he remains on the loose. By 1.30 Monday afternoon, Cardinal Kitchens had been evacuated. SWAT teams surrounded the business on Hiawatha Avenue looking for the man eyewitnesses say opened fire hitting two co-workers. One man shot in the chest is rushed to University Hospital in critical condition. A second man hit in the arm is driven by a co-worker. Kelly Wise says it's her daughter's father that drove that second victim. But at the time, she didn't know that. She tried getting in touch with him for hours. It was nerve-wracking. I think we were calling everybody that we could think of and trying to figure out, you know, if anybody had heard anything. And his phone, he had actually left his phone here. So that's why he wasn't returning anybody's messages. According to police, there had been an altercation between several employees earlier in the day. Things came to a boiling point around 1.10 Monday afternoon. That's when Danny DeWitt, you see him here waiting to be interviewed by police, says he heard what he believed was firecrackers. Then there was screaming and people started running. We didn't wait around. We took out, you know, we ran outside the building because, you know, the police officers was coming in too. Danny Smith was coming back from lunch when chaos was erupting. We had a couple friends run out the front of the building telling us to get back in your truck and leave, you know. <laughs> There's uh, somebody in the building shooting the gun. The shooting, according to Smith, happened in an area of the business known as the Rock Shop. It's where he works and where he should have been. But what's been even harder to deal with, he says, is knowing a friend has been critically injured. He's a good fella. I don't know who would want to hurt him. You know, he's never had a crossword with anybody in the shop that I know of. And back here live tonight, Rick, I can tell you Cardinal Kitchens employs about 100 folks and dozens were inside at the time of the shooting. Those eyewitnesses were taken just several miles away to the police academy where they were interviewed at length by police. They were brought back to work late this evening. Now, as far as police, they have not yet commented on the suspect's identity or what exactly sparked that argument. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.